Hello friends, in the first part of the video where I found an ancient coin here, one of the viewers commented that they had seen the tip of an arrow at the same spot. That's why I came back to investigate again. For those who are not familiar with the story, I originally came here to examine mineral ores when I realized that this is actually an ancient site. There are a huge number of pottery fragments scattered around, and the area is very large. I still don't know which civilization it belonged to, but I will try to expand my resources so I can uncover the secrets of this place. I'm looking for the arrowhead that a friend mentioned seeing in the comments. It's really a difficult task because it's hard to see clearly with the naked eye. I also didn't bring the necessary equipment since the path was so long. Now I have to carefully search the entire area where I previously found the coin to see whether there is actually something here or if I'm just wasting my time. A little farther from here, I also found a very good copper mine, and I'll try to go there next time and show it to you. Oh my god, my friend was right, I found the arrowhead. It's so beautiful and well preserved. It's amazing that it hasn't oxidized. I was starting to lose hope because I had walked such a long distance to get here. It's very fascinating to me because this arrowhead shows that, even in ancient times when resources were limited, people were able to mine metals and craft tools with such precision. Look at this arrowhead and notice how geometrically precise it is. It reminds me of old movies where they hunted with bows and arrows. I have no belief in buying or selling historical artifacts. Historical objects are a clear sign of the beginning of civilization in that area, and I think it's better to either hand over what you find to a museum or take good care of it yourself. I prefer to keep them myself because it gives me the opportunity to research the age of the region further and perhaps reach very valuable conclusions. Even the bones found during excavations are important, because in the future, with advances in technology, DNA comparisons can reveal which historical civilization each of us is connected to. This can also help define the geographical boundaries and borders of each civilization and answer many questions about past wars, even those from 5,000 years ago or more. What could this be? It has a bit of corrosion. I think it wasn't considered valuable, which is why the diggers tossed it aside. I'm scraping the surface of this metal a little to see what it is. A golden or brass-like layer is showing, but neither gold nor brass would corrode. I need to take this with me for further examination. Some civilizations never minted coins. For example, the Medes traded by barter and were mainly engaged in agriculture and animal husbandry. Very few artifacts remain from that civilization. The minting of gold and silver coins became common at most around 3,000 years ago, because before that there wasn't enough knowledge to extract and refine metals. Even if some gold existed, I think it wouldn't have had high purity or fineness. Unfortunately, the truth of history has been buried by wars, and each emerging civilization destroyed the remnants of the previous one, just like the images you see here. Many diggers, unable to sell the gold coins they find, melt them down, and that destroys historical evidence. Near this ancient site, there is also an iron mine and several castles that have weathered and been abandoned over time. I think the age of this place is about 1000 to 1700 years, but I haven't yet found any evidence to prove this theory. If I could find a piece of engraved pottery or an inscribed stone slab, I might be able to decode its writing. The scattered area of this ancient site is roughly 200,000 square meters. I haven't been able to explore all of it yet, only the sections that were previously excavated have caught my attention. I think I saw something in the wall of this pit, but I'm not sure. I caught a glimpse of it for a moment, and then I lost it. Oh my god, I found something else. How interesting, 
It was inside the wall of the pit. It's so beautiful. What could it be? What was it used for? This is the most beautiful thing I've found today. Friends, I think I need to come back here next time with more equipment. I found these objects today, and I will come back here again. Please share your thoughts and experiences, I'd really appreciate it. Tonight's sunset is breathtaking. The sun has risen and set for millions of years, while countless civilizations have disappeared beneath this same sky. One day, we too will fade into the horizon. Our ancestors worked tirelessly to build their worlds, yet the truest legacy left to us is this eternal sun.